Hello, everybody, and welcome to Magical Monday. I hope everybody's doing good out there. Um, I did some meditation, and I connected with the cards for the collective. We've been getting a lot of good messages for what's going on right now, and um, got some more good messages. So let's get right into it. So today is 8-3 of 2024-19, which is a 10, which is a 1. And I'm going to read the one out of the Soul Helper Oracle. Number one tells you that you are a magician priestess and that now and then you require solitude in order to fully develop the capabilities within you. You need solitude now in a particular in order to receive your visions from a spiritual teacher clearly and without compromise. Number one promises success and a deep bond of the heart. It teaches you to feel the moment of creation within you and to perceive yourself as a spiritual being. Its energy field is the beginning, the absolute being, the sum of all possibilities, the pure spirit of the subtle world. That's a perfect uh, start to this magical Monday. And we got a number 20 and it's, it's a two. Nature is calling you. It wants to touch, fulfill, and protect you with its healing powers. You feel vulnerable, naked, and alone, but look around you. All of creation is here to heal and protect you. Your great mother, our earth, sometimes suppresses even herself with her, uh, with her wonders and perfect beauty, all of which are there to reach out to touch and fulfill you and yet you always choose a difficult path a path of pain despite long since knowing in your heart that there is another way you hear your soul speak of joy laughter and true healing you hear but you do not listen it tells you of the many different paths free from hurt or pain your soul is showing you that there are easier paths to follow full of wonder and wisdom. No one wants to harm, belittle, or indeed anger you, and yet a part of you always seems to seek this out. You sometimes hurt yourself and your health. You do not love yourself and can be impatient with or hard on yourself, feeling unattractive or useless. Healing is the acceptance without judgment of everything that is. The outside world reacts only to what is inside you. It's someone, is someone hurting you? Do not react, but instead look at why this might be. Why is it even possible to hurt you? Heal the root cause which lies within you. The issue raised by this card is not necessarily an easy one, but it is urgent. Choose the path of self-awareness now. Let go of your lower negative energies and forego the dark paths of victimhood. Begin to shine in your true light instead. Your helpers for the next 21 days is the power animals, the puma. The herbal essence oil is tea tree oil. The healing crystal is emerald and the number is two. Number two reveals that you are not alone with the issues on the card that you are, have drawn. Look for support from someone who will work through the issues with you, such as a friend or a teacher in the outside world. A harmonious environment and good advice from a wise heart are more crucial than ever for you now. Ensure that all forms of communication are calm and peaceful, even with yourself. Number two teaches that you need an opposite another person in order to help you to become self-aware and to grow. Its energy field promotes self-awareness, groundedness, stability, and reflection. I think we're all doing a lot of reflecting on our lives at this point right now. Um, that is a good thing. Um, a lot of people are still walking through the dark night of the soul. That's a good thing because it's uh, teaching us as we go. So we are learning a lot of earth school and a lot of uh, mystery school dabbles. And we're going to hear more and more and more and more is going to come out about that. 
We've got the angels and ancestors. The first one we got was the seer. See beyond the current situation. Look beyond your current situation, raise your vibrations and focus on love. Most, if not all traditions have a seer in some shape or form. Seers are the in, in, intelligent and intuitive beings who serve a direct channel for information on what is occurring now and what's about to unfold. Their energy isn't about predicting your future for you, but about showing you how your intentions are creating it. A true seer will help you see that your intentions can change. Therefore, so can your future. The message of this card is to let the clairvoyant within you rise up so that you can see the way forward yourself with your spiritual eyes. Clairvoyance isn't just about predicting the future. It's about being able to see clearly enough to create your best future. You are being encouraged by your ancestor guides and angels to see beyond what you think is happening now. Don't allow your ego or doubts to play games with you instead of seeing yourself as stuck or lost. Know you're in an energetic holding space while the universe recalibrates a path that is more favorable for you. Angels of light are upgrading your energy so that your experiences can be more enjoyable. You are moving towards something extremely uplifting and enlightening. So stay calm and keep your eyes on the prize. I like that. Uh, I think we're all going through a lot of ups and downs, waves, and it's kind of crazy out there right now. And uh, I feel it. I know any of the energy workers are feeling this stuff right now. Protection. Guardian, drop your shields. She's a beautiful one. Drop any shields of shame, resistance, and fear that are standing between you and your chances of enjoyment and fun. Know that you don't need to hide who you are or the gifts that you have. You were born to shine. The protection guardian is a feminine version of Archangel Michael. She is fierce protective yet loving warrior angel who carries an indestructible shield of power and protection and will come to all who call on her. She will help you drop your fear-based shields and move into a loving, protective, forced field that will keep you safe but will allow your gifts to shine out. Although she is here to guard you from lower energies, she is completely relaxed, serene, and confident because she trusts that love will always prevail. You may have encountered shame or embarrassment in your past, but that is, that is not your present. Angels are drawing close at this time to help you move beyond the limiting thoughts, emotions, and patterns that may be making you feel unsafe. Know that angelic protection is swirling around you at this moment and will help you move forward in a more fearless way. Call on your angels for help in changing your frequency so you can feel safe and protected. At this time, you are stronger than you think, and your angels and ancestor guides are here to help you realize this now. Um, that's a good one. You know, I have been going through a lot in my life, and I'm sure everybody else is. There is like no comparison for what everybody's going through. But it's hard when you walk through the dark night of the soul and, and you absolutely love yourself, not ego love, just a confidence that you are a beautiful being inside and out. And that's not the glamour look. That is just I being because I'm confident and people's opinions don't phase me anymore. If somebody has an opinion about me, it's okay for them to have an opinion. They may not like me. They may love me. It all, it all depends, but it's okay. That opinion is okay. I, I, I live with it now. I'm okay with everything. And people don't understand that. And when you love yourself, you will walk with, with dignity and grace. And that's what I do. I try to anyway. I mean, we all have our moments, but I always say, get back on the horse and ride it. And if you get fucked off, get back and ride it. 
Okay, so we got the moon. Take note of intuitive messages. And, you know, we've been getting all kinds. I've been getting all kinds of channeled messages just bombarding me lately. Um, we're just going into a new world, a new era, a new time, and just getting balanced out, like landing, you know, it, it's it's rough. Use your intuition, intuition practices, discernment, see through illusion and blockages. The moon is strongly associated with divine feminine and the energy of receiving. If the sun is a teacher and the moon is goddess, and so she offers a powerful energy of polarity and balance. She has a cyclical energy and is therefore strongly connected to emotions, which often come and go in waves and to somewhat interesting behaviors. So when the moon appears in a reading, you are often being told that not everything is as it seems. The moon has a dark side, just dark, not negative, and can show you what you've been kept in the dark about. Lunar energies are surrounding your life, allowing you to understand what is standing in your way. Not everything is as it seems, and you're being guided to use your dis discernment. When the moon appears, an intuitive or psychic urges are increasing. So take note of any feelings arising at this time. There are messages from your souls, soul and angels. The moon shines her light on all that has been kept in the dark. So ask yourself if you are avoiding anything or refusing to deal with something of importance. If so, it could be holding you in the shadows when your destiny is to be the light. If this card appears when you feel someone isn't being completely real with you, know that their intentions will be revealed to you. The moon has no secrets. She reveals all. Yeah, <clears throat> there's already starting to come out uh, about the uh, planned demic uh, on the news. I don't watch the news, but I've been getting glimpses of Fox News and all that and yeah, Fauci is just, he, he says, I, I never said anything about six foot distancing and I never said anything about masks and it just was ridiculous. I didn't fall for any of the crap. I mean, people are still walking around with masks four years later and the, the truth is going to show itself. Uh, the darkness is like in the light now and we aren't going to put up with this, this stuff anymore. We are coming out. The light workers are coming out and we have had enough. I mean, it's ready to get our soul family going and have a beautiful life. That's that's what we all deserve. And the healing beds, the healing, the healing beds are going to be out. And it's going to be beautiful. And I can't wait. And I, I say two things. Meditate and manifest. Meditate and manifest. Meditate and manifest. And I say it three times because Tesla always said three times. Some of you will hear it. You say it once, they don't get it. Say it twice, they'll think about it. Say it the third time, they get it. So that's why I do that. And uh, we've got the messenger oracle, and it says here, the ancient ones. So the message was just from the ancient ones. And we need to listen, listen, hear, hear. The ind indigenous people of the world are those who have lived in harmony with the land for countless generations. Among them are the elders whose knowledge and wisdom can teach us of our relationship with nature, of living a life of empath empathetic awareness and to better understand our role as caretakers of the earth. They can teach the wisd us wisdom of taking only what we need, of wasting little and honoring all sacrifices made so that you may live and grow. Hear the wisdom of the ancient ones. Learn from their knowledge, lore, and tradition. Yeah. Um, this is beautiful, too. This card, he is just watering a tree, taking care of all nature. He's got uh, golden spiders coming down on either side. He's got an owl with a crescent moon over here, which is the wise. Look. And then he's got the, the crystals. Third eyes open, blind. He doesn't need his eyes. He's using everything else. So yeah, that was a that was a really good one. Um, we also got nourish the soul. 
And this panther's drinking it the energy water. He's all energy. Drink in life. Use your senses to explore your world, to see, touch, taste, smell, hear, and experience all that is within you and around you. Your journey through life is meant to be a sensory experience. Your life is meant to be a rainbow of color, full of motion and sound. It is not meant to be a bland, tasteless experience of simply black and white. Be sensual, explore yourself and your world every day and nourish your soul with every moment. I love that. Uh, we have to re-nourish our soul because things get heavy in, in this world. We did ascend on the ninth. Um, so we are on the right track. Um, I'm pretty sure we're in the fourth dimension at this point in the observation and the, the truth coming out. And then, you know, we go to 5D, but we've got to be ready for 5D. Uh, it's, I think it's going to be a jolt and a shock and a flash. That's what I'm thinking. I'm not sure, but that's what I keep seeing. A jolt, a shock and a flash. We got seek your answers within, and I love this card. This is the bear, and he's got the light, the third eye, and he's got his heart with an eye just flaming because that is where the Christ consciousness is in your heart. If you find yourself confused, your intuition and inner voice drowned out by the answers, wisdom and advice of others that it is time for you to step away, withdraw to a place of solitude, like the bear, it is time for you to hibernate, to go within and seek the void, and to embrace the silence that dwells within. Within that silence are the answers to your questions, and because they are answers born of your truth, they will be answers that move you forward instead of holding you still. We have to really look within. Um, the more I go within about things, the more I'm right about things. Um, I feel, you can you can feel it and you have to really use your senses, uh, the smell, the taste. Don't take an advantage of them because what if we didn't have them? Could you imagine? Some people don't. Now, <clears throat> I keep this in my practical magic now. Um, and it's the Emerald Tablet 10, the key of time says, list ye, O man, and hear a mystery stranger than all that lies beneath the sun. Know ye, O oh man, that all space is filled by worlds within worlds, a one within the other, yet separate by law. The ancients knew there was parallel universes, energy and frequency and vibration. Everything is pure energy. I wrote that like two years ago and I have so many channeled messages in my journals that I have to keep looking at them. But I decided to keep this out and read it to people because this is so true. I mean, I was just talking the other day about <clears throat> people that have like five personalities. They, they've researched these people. And like one person could have allergies, the other person doesn't. One person could have diabetes, the other person doesn't. Who's saying they're not going into different parallel universes? We don't know. I mean, she, she let's say she, she, Debbie, the person that's doing it, she could have been normal, but then her mind is going into different universes. So she's Betty and she's Peggy and she's Wanda and they're different. They're all different. They have differences. One has this and one has this and one can't see without glasses and one needs no glasses. So how is that possible? And it's been proven that they do have these symptoms when they're the other person. I think it's parallel universes. And I really think that people with dementia and stuff are popping in and out of parallel universes. That's my thought on it. I don't know. It's just my thought. We got a 13, which is a four. Shine your light, light and dark with light in quotes. Live up to all the promises and potential within you and never play small. Diminish your achievements or dim your light for anyone. Be radiant, burn bright, sparkle and glow. You have no idea how much you inspire people just by being you. How many 
may be watching you, appreciating the path you leave them to follow in your footsteps. When you allow your light to shine, you illuminate the way forward for others. You make them see that it is possible, show them ways to reach their goals and encourage them to be brave enough to try. Celebrate your success so everyone knows all the wonderful things that are possible. Share your struggles too, so others don't feel alone. Take all the opportunities you're offered to grow, achieve, and succeed. Then send all that promise and potential outward, rippling through the, your friendship circles, your family, your community, and the world. When this card comes to you, it's a reminder to not dim your light. Don't allow anyone to pressure you into playing down your achievements so they'll feel better about themselves. Don't pretend away all the good in your life just because a loved one is going through a rough patch. Don't refuse to go after your dreams because you're worried that someone else will be threatened by your success. Don't feel guilty for achieving a goal you worked hard for. Shrink yourself to your partner feels bigger and more important or silence yourself to keep others happy. Limiting yourself and playing small doesn't help anyone, not you or the person you're trying to protect. Diminishing yourself and hiding your talents in talents in the mistake belief, mistaken belief will make someone else happy, ultimately does them a disservice too. It leaves you both living smaller lives and builds resentment on both sides. If someone can't handle your sparkle, that's their problem, not yours. If they don't want to be around you because you shine too bright, let them go. Those who love you will want you to be your true rate, true and wonderful radiant self. They'll encourage you, support you, and raise you up knowing that success and happiness begets more of the same, not less. Life is not a pie with limited slices. Your success, your joy, your accomplishments, none of which limits someone else's potential or reduces their chances of attaining their goals. If they work for them, you might even make them more likely to succeed by proving to them what is achievable. When you succeed, you show that it's possible for others to succeed too. When you live your dream, it gives people permission to follow theirs. And when you raise the bar for yourself, you raise it for everyone, empowering and inspiring people in ways you may never even know. A raising tide lifts all boats, so be a light in the world and help lift others to reach their own potential. Be brave enough to illuminate the way forward for those around you by walking your path with confidence. Lead by example, be your best self. Know that you deserve all the good things in your life, all the opportunities that come to you and all the success you attain. Celebrate your achievements and congratulate your friends and loved ones on theirs as well. Let them know when they've inspired or encouraged you. Tell them how their triumph, triumphs, words and deeds have made your life brighter so they know it's safe for them to keep shining their light too. I love that. I love that because, you know, that's what I said. Walk with confidence and grace and love everybody you come in contact with. Even if they look like they're sourpuss, you know, people have hard lives. We don't know what they're going through. Just remember that. Sometimes people look unhappy because their life is just really bad and they can't deal with it. And, you know, when I found myself pretty much, I, I deal with things so much better. I don't get crazy about it. I just kind of go within and observe. I get real quiet and I just like kind of go into a meditation state and think about the right way and feel it from my heart. So I would advise everybody to just feel into their uh, feelings and emotions and see which direction you need to take on a daily basis. It'll help guide you. Now we got the gateway of light activation and we've got star gathering. Stars align, remember home, soul families. Yes, we're all coming together. We're all clicking. 
we feel the energy of each person that we were meant to be around. Uh, some people might might not click with my energy and I might not click with theirs, but that's okay. There's another energy out there waiting for them that they are supposed to contact. We're all finding the energy that draws us in to help us in this ascension, in this awakening. There's something powerful about looking up into the midnight sky, seeing the vast openness. We recognize that we are part of something that is beyond our understanding. This card brings that feeling directly to us, that feeling of utter connectedness to the stars where we fall in and out of the dream state and wonder about the meaning of life, universe, and everything. Star gathering is a powerful card. It's the energy of home. Before we join the cycle of life, as human beings, we were part of the cosmos. And that feeling of being connected to the stars is a memory of what we were before. This card reminds us that we have star power and star potential but we are not the only star in the world. For when we switch when we switch on our light, we attract more star energy and even our own star family. The stars have aligned. You have found the lost pieces of yourself and your energy and now is your time to shine. You are a magnetic attracting people, people's energies and opportunities that will allow your dreams to unfold. This is a time of wishes fulfill, fulfilled all of your dedication, focus, and dreaming has paid off, and now you can reap the rewards. It's important for you to know that this plane of existence is your rightful place and not to spend too much time trying to transcend this reality, for you choose to be here at this time. Make the most of this powerful opportunity. If you are feeling particularly connected to certain individuals at this time, it's because you are finding your star family. Beings you connected with before you entered the cycle of physical incarnation. And as long as you are connected to yourself, you are home. Yeah, we all think... We all know that we were from somewhere else. We were all cosmic stars and beautiful little stars and we were born and we are all part of God's creation and God within and the Christ consciousness within. And we have a lot of power that we don't realize we have. So we need to work on things. We need to work on meditation is the biggest thing um, that I did to start loving myself. Meditation and going within, even if you go to sleep at night, just before you go to sleep, take some time and meditate and clear your mind because that'll start fresh in the morning. It'll be a fresh, clean mind. It's like recycling the baggage from the day and letting it go. Now, we got the divine master. We got Lady Nada, and that's expanded heart, openness, liberation, let yourself love and be loved. Look at that card. Isn't she beautiful? She's got a big rose right there on her heart. Lady Nada is an embodiment of divine love. She is one of the leaders of the karmic board and a member of the Council of Light and is dedicated to bringing Christ consciousness to earth. In the Aura Soma healing system, Lady Nada's bottle is the divine counterpart to the Christ her mission is to help the human race embody divine love. Lady Nada is an aspect of Mary Magdalene. Some believe she's Mary's higher self who helped her tap into the, the teacher within. Lady Nada has many incarnations and was one of the high priestess of Atlantis. Those drawn to her or her mission are likely also to have had incarnations in Atlantis or similar ancient civilizations. When Lady Nada comes to you, your heart is ready to expand. It is opening wide for you to experience and embody divine love. This is a powerful opportunity to heal from past traumas regarding related relationships and emotional letdowns. The journey 
The journey of self-respect that you have been on, it's leading to a genuine experience of self-love and self-acceptance. This in turn will lead to a feeling of liberation within you is a great love, a love that is eternal and therefore will never die. Know that this is a mighty love and it's now time to share it without fear. Have courage. Know that this is an opportunity to let love reach all the parts of yourself and all the parts of your journey. Where have you stopped yourself experiencing love? Know that every faucet of you is lovable and for the world to see that you just need to be willing to believe that it is true. The universe will take care of the rest. We are all beautiful in our own way. Uh, we have to remember that. Um, there's too many people that are walking with their head down and because they don't feel like they deserve anything or they're not pretty or whatever. But once you start working, meditating and working on yourself, your confidence level will be in the room. I mean, you will be like, okay, so that is your opinion and that's okay. And I'm okay with it. Poof, gone. You know, you want to erase, in my life, I erase negative. I try to erase negative and I try not to sit on it and mildew on it because it's not going to, it's not going to change. It just, I just figure out what I learned. And I take it as a learning experience. Okay, we are going to go to the dreams of Gaia. We got some interesting cards today. We got the Ace of Earth. And the Ace of Earth, he's a pretty cool dude. He's got the flames coming out. And he's got the heart space right there and these clutches, but it came in reversed. So we got some blockages coming. Start anew, new financial or career opportunities, reward versus consequences, making preparations, planning for the future, material gain, a desire for security. In the reverse position, the ace of earth signifies that too much emphasis may have been placed on financial reward or career goals to the detriment of others' needs and responsibilities. What price are you willing to pay in order to meet your goals? Are you motivated by gen by genuine need, by fear, or by material desire? These are questions you need to ask yourself now. How important is material gain? How fast do you wish to achieve financial security and for what purpose? The earth card represents home, family, career, and harmonious marriage of the three. While your life may not include all three, be sure that your opportunity to have love and family will not be limited by a path that focuses only on your need for financial security. If you do have family, a spouse, children, or both, are you putting your desire for financial security before the emotional needs and responsibilities of a parent, partner, or parent? Will the plans you have made, made take you away from your family and place undue pressure on your relationship with others? If the answer is yes or maybe, the reverse ace of earth suggests that it is time to rethink your goals or weigh the potential rewards against the potential consequences. Do not act selfish at this time or the consequences may be greater than anticipated. Um, my father was, was a very hardworking man, um, but my father didn't have time for his kids. Uh, he made sure we all had, we had money. My mother had everything she wanted. He spoiled a rotten. Us kids had everything we wanted, but we never got to really see our father unless I went fishing with him. He was, or I went to work with him or uh, the boys, both brothers, they never really spent time with their father. He never really did nothing with him because he was always busy. He was too busy. He was financial security and, and at the end there wasn't financial security so he busted his butt all his life hard worker and nothing to show for it so you got to think about this is success more important than your family or your partner or your kids you gotta think about all that now, the clarifier, the Oceanic Tarot, I clarify with, and we got a number 19, which is 
a 10, which is a one, just like today. And it's the sun, happiness. Appreciate your deserved success in this special time of rest and recuperation. Enjoy feeling safe and appreciate the harmony that is around you. This is growth, children, joy, protection, holiday, success, contentment. Um, this is a joyful, positive card. It predicts happiness in a time for well-deserved relaxation if life has been stressful lately. The sun is a welcome sign that the pressure will end and you'll finally be able to unwind. You may be in send, spending time with children or finding your inner child, doing whatever phases pleases you and brings you fulfillment. The sun also predicts holidays and trips and you find peace and contentment in a place that nurtures and inspires you. The sun favors creative pursuit too, so you may turn your attention to hobbies and create projects now, which all, will all flourish. This card and this card together is telling me that you need to balance your career with your family, but you need to do it in a really balanced way. Don't take too much time away from your family because if you if you do, it won't be good. But if you do think of your family more and your career and balance them out, happiness will be there. It's kind of like a choice card, like a it the choice is yours. And we got number 21, which is a three, which means that this is the divine message, and that's perception. Perception shapes your worldview. Understand that your senses tell you knowledge and understanding are limited. Change perception cannot be unchanged. Is your perception clouded? Take the high ground. Seek a new perspective. Challenge your perception. Who influences your perception? Do you have all the facts? Represent yourself honestly. Watch for false perceptions. Perception, the fifth of the influence cards pertains to the organiza organization, identification, and inter interpretation of sensory information in order to understand what we sense and experience. When the perception card appears in your reading, it symbolizes an opportunity or need to look at how you analyze and interpret your experiences and how your interpretation then influences your choices and ability to see and weigh options and opportunities. Yeah. These cards are pointing, somebody really needs to look at their opinions and their options because there's the bad options of, I don't care, I'm not going to spend time with my family and I'm going to work, 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 or I'm going to spend time with my family and I'm going to work, but I'm going to balance them out. It's still there that this card is saying the same thing. It's a perception. Our lives are built upon the foundation laid by our perception. How we perceive the world and those around us influence our ability to learn, our understanding of cause and effect, our ability to see and weigh our options and to make decisions. There is no area of our life that is not influenced by our perception. Our lives can be empowered and fulfilled because how we perceive our reality gives us confidence or our lives can be destroyed in an instant, if our idea of what is real is revealed to be a lie and our perception is shattered. Yeah, we have to watch out with that. Um, I always say, you know, the best time is just to back off. Think about things and think about your perception of it. Because, you know, I always look at it this way. When I was going through the dark night of the soul and I was going back, the perception I had as a young girl was so much different than it is now. So when I look at these stories from my past, it was like, wow, I thought that, you know, I can't believe that that's, that I thought that. So, you know, take that into consideration when you're revisiting the past and you're working on your uh, dark night of the soul, because you'll have those questions come up when like, why did I do that? You know, because uh, you got a clarifier with that was the five of pentacles abandonment. This appears to be a sad card, but all is not lost because 
The five often reveals a fear of poverty and isolation rather than the reality. You may feel at risk of losing a job or relationship, or you distance yourself from others due to self-doubt. An additional meaning is feeling alone after the end of a relationship, along with the financial change that a breakup can bring. You do have support, but you may be looking in all the wrong places and all the wrong people. Go beyond your usual network and you'll find the help and comfort you need. This is isolation, money problems, rejection, bias, fear, risk, and relationship. Yeah. Um, somebody is... Somebody is... Um, doing too much work and not enough uh, family time. And they feel that if they don't do the work that they won't be successful. Um, just put it into perspective. How successful do you need to be? Are your bills paid? Are you happy? Do you have food on your table? Is everything beautiful kind of kumbaya in the world? Then just be there. Just be in the now space. Don't worry about the future. It, it will come when it comes. And we also got intuition and number 22, which is a master number, but intuition came upside down. We got to reverse intuition. Intuition is the sixth sense. I'm losing cards. The voice of your unconscious mind, heed your intuition intuitive feelings, intuitive skills born of practice. Pick the options that feel right. Strengthen your intuition. Tap into your other senses. Make your best guess. Be both intuitive and rational. Watch and observe. Intuition or bad past experiences seek a second opinion. Now, this was a blockage. <sighs> When the int intuition card appears in reverse, it cautions you to apply a little reasoning and rational thought to the, your situation. Is there a chance that your intuitive abilities are being hampered by emotional bias born of past experiences? Could similarities between a past issue and your present situation be hampered? Your ability to intuitive, intuitive, accurately. Accurately. Do you have prejudice that could also be influencing you? What you believe could be blinding you to what is. Make sure you are not working with flawed or incomplete information. Make sure you are not following the same course of action you have in the past, especially if that course of action was one you regretted. If your knowledge is not sound or based in fact, you cannot be certain that your gut feeling is sound. Observe, look at the situation and weigh up all the evidence at hand. It might also serve to reach out to a friend and ask their thoughts. It might help to get a second opinion. Second opinions always help because somebody's seeing something at a different perception than you and you've got two choices now and you have a different outlook on it. Now, with that, we got the King of Wands, and this is practic practicality. Explore your passions and look to unconventional people in new places. The King is an action man, which makes him an engaging companion and an inspiring leader. Self-motivated, he is an entrepreneurial, dynamic, and open-minded. You will know what he is thinking as his feelings always show. Travel may be important to him, and he is connected to many people and with backgrounds different from his own. As the U card in a reading, the king indicates that you should expect to find particular solutions to problems and also see your network of friends and professional contacts grow. This is energy, creativity, power, wisdom, passion, freedom, and openness. Um, this has been a really good um, reading so far because it's covering um, the perception of what we're looking at and how we're looking at it. And it's so crazy that 
that you see so many different perceptions. You get different stories. It's kind of cool. And the last card we got was zero choices. And it came up. We had a lot of reverse cards. So this is kind of like a warning. Like choices create reality. Belief is a choice. Inaction is a choice. The choice is yours. Determine your direction. The past has influence. Choices offer reward or consequences. Weigh your options. Choose wisely. Stop procrastinate. And be reasonable, responsible for your choices and aware awareness powers. The blockage. Are you spending all your time looking for options and opportunities because you do not like the options that have already been represented to you? Sometimes our search, searching fails to uncover a choice that brings us happiness or an outcome that we desire. So we continue to look, hoping that something better will come along. In this way, we may be only delaying the inevitable. The reverse choice card symbolizes a need to accept that. Sometimes the only choice available is the one we do not want to make. Sometimes we have to choose the next best option or the path of least reward. Sometimes the path of least reward will lead us to unexpected treasure. Sometimes we are limited to a choice that will bring us happiness. A bait fleeting and one that will not. A choice between immediate gratification or self-sacrifice. Make your choice with the awareness that instant gratification might not prove to be the most rewarding option. Do not allow a fear of your being unhappy or dislike or having to work hard or go without, preventing you from making a choice that will bring greater reward and benefits in the future. Consider that your procrastination or your inaction may result in someone else's making a choice for you and creating a future that is even less to your likings. Um, and this card is really, really good. I mean, it's got three doors. You've got the the light over here, the darkness over here. She's crying, but they got the golden apple and then they got the middle door. So this is like the unknown path. I mean, which door are you going to take? Any of the doors will be the right one. It just might be a harder road uphill than an easier one. And we got the page of cups on that, and that's imagination. Enjoy the lighter side of life. Allow yourself time to play and let your imagination run free. I, this is a companionship, outings, fun, playfulness, imagination, love, news, finances. This is all that. Um, yeah, we have, uh, that was a really good reading. And I think that we need to think about things, observe things a lot more than what we do and not make just rash judgment, rash decisions and just because it might be the wrong decision if you do it too quick. I mean, I, that's what all these cards are kind of telling us. You know, yet we have choices and we have to figure out which choice is right for us. Now we got the human spirit oracle. This is the last one. We're going to number 15, which is six. Not my circus, not my monkeys. I like this one. Got a monkey in there. He's like a circus clown. Sheesh. You there with the monkey, get off my lawn. Why are you always hanging on to someone else's problem? Is it boundaries? Do you suffer from codependency? Or are you a hero at the expense of your own happiness? We spend a lot of time speaking about and on other people's problems because they are easier to see and solve than our own. Some people also thrive on drama or self infliction and they want to make you part of their three ring circus tossing you from their trapeze of chaos into their habitat of monkeys next time you start to swing from someone else's problem take a moment and say not my circus not my monkeys and take a step back <laughs> i love that card because you know it is easier to fix somebody else than it is to fix yourself. I was always the Dr. Phil of my friends, as they called me. I was always there to 
give advice and then I had a friend that was like my my advice you know we always the wise wisdom of the women and the men um but we have to remember when we're looking at someone else see if that anything reflects back on you if you see yourself and other people find out if you like that and work on yourself that's the biggest thing is work on yourself um my husband's been going through the dark night of the soul and it's rough. I mean, it is a rough thing. I went through it and there's a lot of childhood baggage and things that are there that uh, people don't want to look at, but they have to because you had a different perception back then on it. Well, I think that was a great reading for Magical Monday and I'm back now. I'm good. Uh, I'm feeling good and I'm ready to, we're ready to rumble. <laughs> Okay, I'm going to quit blabbing now on Magical Monday. By the time this is on, because my computer's been running slow, it'll probably be Toth Tuesday, but it's okay. It's still Magical Monday, in my opinion. And, uh, you know, I love all, I love you all. And may every step in your journey be magical. And you know what? Just be you. 